News 5 at 6 starts now. And we start with the battle over Bud in the Buckeye State. Lawmakers are still at odds over making changes to Ohio's new recreational marijuana law, and they are now rushing to get that done before their winter break. More than one month after Ohio voters passed issue two and nearly one week after it went into effect. The focus? To allow Ohioans to legally buy the marijuana they're allowed to use. The Senate passed its own legislation to do just that, but that bill also cuts back home grow and THC levels allowed, which is why the House is now blocking it. We want to make sure we get it right rather than quickly. We don't want uh, illegal sales, the black market, if you will, to, to get a foothold. If lawmakers don't get this resolved by the end of the week, then the marijuana laws stay the same until they do come back to the state house in late January. Local medical marijuana growers are stuck at a standstill, too, until state lawmakers come to that agreement on changes to issue two. An Eastlake company is already ramping up production in anticipation of making that transition to recreational marijuana, but concrete answers might not come, like I said, until next year. News 5's Bryn Caswell following through tonight, showing us how Buckeye Relief is treading carefully. When issue two passed October 7th, owner of Buckeye Relief, Andy Rayburn, said he knew a long road was still ahead for his business and the entire Ohio marijuana industry. We knew that the most difficult and uh, hard to navigate uh, process would be to see what the legislature did with the bill, even though it passed by 57 percent. Rayburn has carefully planned his next steps for whenever lawmakers let the floodgates open. Despite no timetable, Rayburn has ramped up production at the Buckeye Relief Cultivation and Processing Facility in Eastlake. His team is producing as much marijuana extract as possible. That's what goes into products like vape pens and gummies and all edibles, and it, it has long shelf life. So we're, we're uh, producing more than we're selling uh, so we can get ahead of that curve. Reburn is also opening his third Amplify Medical Dispensary in Bedford next Monday. General Manager Sage Graham says the dispensary is large enough for an expanded customer base. We have a, you know, a more open concept and able to actually help the patients and it's not too congested. Because um, when it goes wreck, I mean, this place is probably going to be pretty full, you know, I, mean, I imagine. So, I um, want we'll to make sure we have the space for it and the, uh, the people to help them out. Rayburn says if lawmakers reach a happy medium when it comes to tax revenue and THC percentages, he will be able to expand storefronts, bringing another 200 jobs to the greater Cleveland area. If not, he fears Ohioans will keep buying weed on the illegal market. If taxes are too high and THC contents are too low and people don't want to buy it, we'll barely expand at all. We'll, we might have a, a dozen new jobs. Until an agreement is reached at the state house, the future remains unknown and all plans stay paused. We've already designed a doubling of this building, which is where, you know, a new hundred jobs would come and we have it ready to go. We've already looked at new dispensary locations in the state uh, and we're, we're nearly ready to go there. But it's all on hold until we know the timetable and the details. In Eastlake, Bryn Caswell, News 5. And News 5 will continue to follow the wheelings and the dealings of Ohio's new marijuana law. We'll bring you any new developments.